and welcome back to Visit File Coast. We're going to pick up our series where we left off today and we're going to go for a walk around in Blackpool to see what's happening because it's a few weeks since I came to Blackpool and lots of things have happened, lots of things have changed so we're going to go and see what we can find. So don't forget, make sure that you give this video a like, make sure that you subscribe to visit final coast and get those notifications as well and then you'll find out when we upload new content the extension for the hound sale is coming along at a pace and that's covered in a separate video which is why you need those notifications so picking up from there i thought we'd i thought we'd go and have a, a portal and see what's been happening and obviously at this point i need to turn left at the end of here and we need to go and have a look at the nail emporium which caught fire on boxing day 2022 so exactly what happened remains remains unknown um i went in the works in cleveland's which of course is one of my favorite shops and i asked what the situation was and the shop's going to remain closed for the foreseeable future for probably a few months she said because of structural issues because there were there were terraced properties oh you can smell charcoal and burning um and the staff that used to work in the works in this works here at at blackpool are now working in the cleveland store so other than that they don't really know anything as you can see the barrier has been reduced so there's not as much cordoned off it's not quite as I thought I'd seen your YouTube <laughs> just a minute right. another another viewer that spotted me in the street even though I'm in disguise he still he still recognised me so yeah so the works is closed all the staff are in the Cleveland branch they've got a window out up there look she reckons that they've been told that the stock inside is not fire damaged so Good, good luck good luck on that let's hope it's not when they get inside um, one of the interesting things I noticed at Christmas was that the bottles of nail varnish were still on the on the racks in the in the shop so I suppose at some point somebody somewhere will do something with it but it looks to me like it all wants demolishing we'll see we'll see what happens so the Grand Theatre box office has had a, a refurb They've got Winnie the Pooh on display inside. There you go, this is where you come to book your tickets. You used to book them in the... Oh, you don't want to look at her, do you? There you go, Winnie the Pooh. Um, you used to book them in the foyer at the theatre, which is just here. And if you didn't come to Panto at Christmas, bloody God, you don't know what you missed. So that's where you get your tickets. That's where you, you come in to get your tickets. Right, we'll go up to St John's Square. I think I've lost my vlogging mojo a little bit at the moment. I think I've uh, got that kind of post-Christmas brain fog. I've had, a, I've had a rest. I feel like I still want another long one. <laughs> oh. oh, they're going into Shoemarket. I wonder what they're doing. Sold. Sold sign on Shoemarket. Shall we go and have a look and see if we can find out what they're doing? Mmm, interesting. Somebody just stopped me from behind, wanting to know what I'm videoing. And looking as if he didn't want me to. So we'll shuffle on. We know when we're not wanted. I don't know uh, quite why builders working in a shop unit is the problem, but apparently it is. So, toy shops cafes we've been to the sea fish and chips we've been and done that one we've not done vintro lounge yet still got the bauble out oh they were starting to refurbish the front of the winter gardens i, I got a, some information a few weeks ago and they're refurbishing all the fans it's called this cream this creamy colored tile is a, a sort of a specialist building product and it's called Faience, F-A-I-E, 
NCE, I think is how you spell it. And it's a, a glazed, a glazed terracotta. And when you think it's been there for like, ooh, well, well over a hundred years, it's done very well. It has been cleaned in the past. It has been cleaned, but obviously it's getting a lot of, a lot of wear. A lot of wear and tear, so it's all being, it's all being restored and, and repaired. This is the Winter Gardens box office for com for completeness. This is where you book your Winter Gardens tickets. And they've got Mamma Mia coming back. I'll try not to start singing. I'll try not to start singing. So from Tuesday the twenty first of March to Saturday the first of April this year, you can see. The spectacular Abba Smash It musical. And that was one of the first, in fact it was the first, to come back to Blackpool when the current phase of new good West End hit musicals and productions started coming back. Christmas tree is doing a little bit of a little bit of wafting about in the in the breeze. Help us to plant 55,000 trees by using pay by phone. That is very good. You sit in your car and you use you use the pay by phone app. And for some bizarre reason, every time I've tried to use it, my internet connection drops out and doesn't work. I think it might be me. I think it might be me, actually. It's all starting to brighten up and warm up. Tell you what we'll do now, we'll go for a walk round to the back of Abingdon Street Market. Because as you'll know, that's being refurbished. And it's all being fitted out inside as a, a as an artisanal um, market stroke, meeting place, coffee house type thing. And I've not seen it since probably the beginning of December, maybe even before that. So I'm expecting it to look quite different. Because I think, I think I'm right in saying that the cafe, cafe, food, eating and drinking aspect of it is supposed to be opening in spring with the stalls, the, the actual craft stalls, artisanal stalls, etc. opening later in the year. Don't quote me on that, I, that, might, that might not be exactly right, but it's something like that. Let's have a look through this crack and see what we can see. I keep looking through this crack, don't I, expectantly? Hmm, not very much. They've not got very many lights on inside, so you can't actually see what they're doing. Hmm, that's a bit of a letdown. This is Edward Street, which is a do. No, can't see. Can't see anything. What a shame. They won't let you in. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. Some would say I'm very trying. A lot of these shops on here have had a shop front makeover and restored back to their original original design and it looks beautiful it looks really lovely and then when the the market's finished and opened it's going to transform the area looks so different so this is next stop in our tour of developments at blackpool and this is the car park at king street which is going to end up becoming a big department for work and pensions office block so that's King Street, that's the back of the, the properties at King Street. This is the temporary dental surgery that they built. And down here, this is Church Street. So it literally has gone up this week, this Harris fencing. And this is in preparation for enabling works for the, for the new development. So that's going to be very interesting to watch. That'll be a, that'll be a nice building project for us to uh, us to watch and, and see, won't it? That's going to really transform the look of the area, and it's also as well going to 
I'm just looking to see what that notice is. It just says the car park's closed. It's also going to bring lots of civil servants into Blackpool Town Centre who will shop, eat, go out and enjoy the attractions of Blackpool and, and bring added vitality to the town. So we've got another new one to show you as well on this left hand side here, which this little green one with the little, little metal barrier. This is the back of Topping Street. We'll go around the front and, and take a look. And this is the back of a new shop called Antisocial, A-U-N-T-Y, social, not anti. So we'll go around the front and have a look. Right, so we're around the other side of Topping Street now. And this, you will remember, is my still number one rated fish and chip shop. It's closed this week, they're on holiday as well. But this is what we've come to see. This is the front of the shop that I've just shown you on the side of the new proposed building site. So this is antisocial. And they did have a shop called Sharabang, which was at the bottom of the ramp where you go up to the um, car park at the, at the Hounds Hill. So it's a creative space and it's been a complete refurb. I can't remember what this building used to be. If you know, pop a comment underneath and, and enlighten us all. And it's a collaborative community space. So downstairs, there is a shop that's got work for sale from local artists. In fact, there's actually one of ours in there for sale. And then inside, they've also got space for workshops and creative crafts and arts and and learning and all kinds of different stuff so it's brand new it's literally only just opened and it's open thursdays fridays and saturdays so for once my timing was much better because it's thursday today so these are some of the the works on display that you might you might actually recognize that one up there one from our seaside emporium website and these are all works by local artists so if there's something that you fancy you can pop in and and buy it for an unusual present. I'm not quite sure. Is the cow for sale? No, the cow's not for sale. He's he he lives here. He lives here. So there's all kinds of stuff. It's really nice, really nice shop. That's a lovely chair. I bet that's not for sale either. I'm wanting all the shop fittings. So they're all different makers and and creators. They're lovely. I like these cards little little meeting area so as i say it's brand brand spanking new and that through there is is the back of of where we looked at on the side of king street lovely shop and look at the exposed steelwork as well that's been painted and, and refurbished it's a lovely refurbishment lovely conversion so there you go, pop in if you're looking for something different, something unique. Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays, they're open. Lots of different things. I didn't get very far, I'm still on Topping Street. As I walk past the salad bowl, I realise that this is the, this is the shop that's um, often tagging us in stuff on Facebook. So I thought I'd just stick my nose through the door. And she's, she's scooting out of the way, she's ducking for cover. And this is the lady that does the Facebook. So I've just introduced myself and said hello. So I said I would pop in. Mainly because she blackmailed me with some dark chocolate ginger, which she's bagging up at the minute. These look very nice. I would suggest you pop in and get some. I would suggest you pop in and get some. So they've got everything in here. I don't, I don't kind of come and do food shopping up at this end of Blackpool. What a good selection. You're both hiding, aren't you? What a good selection. I'm just saying I don't come and do my food shopping in Blackpool, so I tend not to look in food shops. But you've got everything. Wow. Fabulous. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to put a face to a name. I'll go and leave you alone. <laughs> Camera shy. Camera shy. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> People always scatter when they see me coming. It's not that bad. Goodness, it's fascinating. It's like a little supermarket. They've got the lot. And while we're on Topping Street, we might as well have a look 
and see what's happening with the holiday inn because this is another another big blackpool project that's coming to fruition this year I tell you the the town will be completely different by christmas oh they've got signs up i think i've seen this one on this corner but i've not seen that one on there that looks posh wash that looks very good like that we like that so apparently the tramway is opening in let me see if i can get across here without getting killed the tramway is opening in springtime i think it's somewhere around about may june ish and then the holiday inn is opening later towards the end of the year it's all looking very different very different indeed let's see if we can line ourselves up with the slats there you go let's do a little bit of little bit of zooming and take a closer look while well, i've got something to balance on Woo! goodness me it's very windy it's blowing me over we're going to pick the wires up in a second on the fence we'll try not to interesting and if you've seen the video where I got to ride on one of the test trams, you'll know that the tram stop is literally right in the middle of the viewfinder at the moment. So it's right in the middle of the shot. Very good. That's going to look so different. So, so different. Look, we've got the wires. I'm swaying backwards and forwards with the wind. As I'm standing here, it's really, really windy. Really windy. We're going to go in that direction next. You can just see the top of the tower looking a, in a halo above the buildings. And we're going to go down Talbot Road to the seafront and see what's happening down there. Whose idea? Whose idea was it to come to Blackpool <laughs> in a 40 mile an hour gale? <laughs> I'm having all on standing up. It's absolutely beautiful down here. The only thing I've done wrong is I should have put my thick hat on. And I should have, I should have put a scarf on as well because I tell you, it is absolutely blowing a gale. I'm holding onto the camera with two hands. You've got to wonder how the tower stands up in it. Can you see? Can you see the picture wafting about? <laughs> it's really rough. It's lovely though. Look at that sea. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's blowing that way. I can, I can, I can promise you, it's blowing that way. <laughs> it's in the back of me. <laughs> Goodness me! I think they said it was going to be about forty miles an hour this afternoon, and that feels like forty miles an hour. <laughs> I put my hood up over the top of my hat. Goodness, it's absolutely blowing a gale just gorgeous though just absolutely beautiful all my, all my glasses are fogging up with sea spray, sea fret so my, my intention <laughs> my intention was to take you up to the comedy carpet and show you that they'd cleared everything away from Christmas with the exception of the Odyssey sculptures don't know whether they're leaving them up or whether they're taking them down but I'm having to I'm having to cling on to me tripod for grim death. I might, you might find me somewhere wrapped around the. Oh goodness me, the 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 telegraph poles on on Talbot Road. It's that strong. I bet it's noisy on the microphone as well. Good lord, I'm not exaggerating, honestly. I'll walk up here and then we'll we'll go and have a look at the at the prom can you see how the illumination is flopping backwards and forwards in the wind and then when you look when you look around here some poor things getting married goodness you can only imagine what state the dress must be in they've lost a ribbon off one side it's ripped the car's clean anyway i don't know how they managed to get that here without getting it dirty so it's upstairs the the registry office it's in the it's actually in this bit up here so you get married with the view overlooking 
overlooking the spectacular Blackpool Tower. Look at the illuminations there. I mean, there's no, there's no substance to them in, in terms of being like a sail. And even they're banging about in the wind. So the fairy lights have gone. All the infrastructure's gone, the skating rink's gone. The barriers that were down here have all gone. I tell a lie, the cabins are still here. I would imagine that they got um, cross hobbled, shall we say, trying to take them down with the weather. But can I just say, can I just say, that these windshields do an astonishing job of diffusing that wind. As I'm standing here now, you can tell I've got my breath back. And it's not actually blowing me over. So I think uh, I think ten out of ten to them, and they're not even they're not they're not hardly moving. They're not ripping. They're not they're not coming to mix. I think all seaside towns should have them, including Cleveland. Look at this poor Christmas tree standing here all on its lawn. So I don't know whether they're leaving Odyssey or whether they're taking it down. I would imagine it's a bit too windy to be dismantling something so big today. When we find out, we'll let you know. Beautiful blue sky behind the tower. Now the eagle-eyed ones among you will have spotted that the carriages have been taken off on the wheel on Central Pier. Wibble wobble as the wind blows. <laughs> Doesn't seem quite as windy around this side of of the headland, which is a bit a little bit bizarre. So we've got one final call to make, which I'm gonna do on a separate video. Which is why you need those notifications turned on. So we're going to go and have a look at the Blackpool Central development which is at the back of the Golden Mile Centre. And there's also some interesting speculation as well about what's happening underneath the sea life. So make sure you've got those notifications on and when we've uploaded them you'll find out exactly, exactly what it is. So from a very blustery and very windy Blackpool seafront where Christmas by this tea is being put to bed for another year and the tower is looking as gorgeous as ever. We will bid you a good day until next time and we will see you soon. Bye for now.